I'm with Cormac uh, Russell at uh, a day in Thornton Heath, which is about I love Thornton Heath, a celebration of some work over the last few months of people discovering more about their neighbourhood and about how they can better connect with their neighbours and do more. And uh, Cormac's now going to give us the two or three minute version of the very inspiring slideshow that we've got at the moment. So Cormac, uh, tell us the story of how you got involved here and what people have been doing over the last few months. Sure. So I'm going to use a slideshow just to take you through some of the uh, inspiring things that people have been doing on the ground in Thornton Heath. So just turn your attention to the slideshow. So as um, David was saying, this is really about what people love in Thornton Heath. And over the last six months, the people of Thornton Heath have been discovering what they love by connecting with each other. Uh, one of the things that's a standout uh, is in, on the 18th of September, uh, on the back of the Thornton Heath Festival, many of the people who got involved in being, I suppose, part of the acid-based program, what we call connectors, began to engage people during the festival uh, by asking them all sorts of really interesting questions about what gifts and capacities they have, but also what clubs and groups they're members of. This is one such person, Shirley, and Shirley was one of 20 connectors that was recruited by Croydon Voluntary Action Group, who were commissioned uh, along with Nurture Development, my company, to bring acid-based thinking into the neighborhood of Thornton Heath. And Shirley's naturally a connector. She knows so many people who will just naturally open up to her and have conversations with her. So Shirley and indeed other people over the last number of months have been gathering stories, stories like the story of Mr. and Mrs. Ahmed, who have a beautiful family but live in a flat without a garden, and yet their passion is to be involved in allotments, to grow things, and to cook. The same connector also had a conversation on pretty much the same day with Peggy, and Peggy was a neighbor of Mr. and Mrs. Ahmed, but they didn't know each other. Uh, she had lost her husband six years previously after being married some 50-odd years, and Peggy had a rather large house with a garden that was overgrown. The connector introduced Mr. and Mrs. Ahmed and Peggy, um, and the rest, as they say, was history. They began sharing all sorts of assets and resources. Now Peggy's garden is tended, uh, and Mr. and Mrs. Ahmed have a plot in that garden. The children play in the garden, and they're the best of friends, swapping uh, all kinds of cooking recipes, but more importantly, reciprocally showing affection, care, and mutuality to each other. And those stories just continue. There's a story of a lunch club of older people who had difficulty connecting with their families abroad, and a story of a year 10 class who wanted to be helpful to older people. Again, the connectors were able to bring the two together to share their gifts and talents. And these were the stories that they shared with people on September the 18th uh, at the festival. They asked people as they came into the welcome tent to share different things. So one of the things they wanted to know about was what associations and networks people, people were members of. So people talked about the Salvation Army, the swing, swimming club, uh, community celebration events, gyms, playgroups. But they also asked people about what gifts and talents they had and what they were prepared to contribute. And, you know, all kinds of weird and wonderful things came up from belly dancing to being able to be a community leader to teaching people how to sew and so on. And the list just grew and grew as the day went on. Not one person who came through that tent spoke about the riots which had happened a few weeks previously. Instead, they focused on what they were proud of and they loved about Thornton Heath and what they wanted to share and offer. They also talked about what they were prepared to give over and above their gifts, what contributions they felt they could make. And there was a giving tree that was put up there that day that captured the contributions that people were passionate about and wanted to make to their area. That, that was halfway through the day. By the end of the day, the branches were full. So the news flash is that Thornton Heath will not be defined by the riots. It will not be defined by what it doesn't have because the people of Thornton Heath are coming together and they're sending a message to the world. And that message is we will be defined by our gifts, not our deficits. The glass is half full in Thornton Heath. Thanks, Cormac. And My uh, how much professional input did that take and how much did it just done by local residents? One day a week by professionals, seven days a week by people who care, citizens.